Hello, Zyphus community, and welcome back to another world. Thanks, Consevere. So, in this video, I'm going to be driving the FV4005 Stage 2. And this is the Cold War version of the 4005, which is a very fun tank. And also, this is a tank I've been trying to remark for quite some time. Now, if you notice, I only have one mark on this tank. I currently have two marks because this replay is all the way back in February of this year. So it's been quite a while since match has happened, but this is was a really good match. Now the 4005 is always one of those fun tanks to play. Um, Cold War versus World War II 4005, their play styles are very different. The Cold War 4005 has mobility. It can go like 60 forward, which is absolutely in same. The top speed is 56.3 forward, and the reverse speed is 22.5 with a power to weight ratio of 18.62. That's if you fully upgrade it. And also, your concealment is really, really good if you put the camo purse on it and stuff like that. So, that means you're a very sneaky tank destroyer that is fast. But the cold, uh, World War II version can do more damage per shot with its normal high explosive, but the war, uh, but the Cold War version does not. Uh, both tanks are great in their own way. Both tanks are really good in both of the era and tiers they are in. So in this match, it's Cold War, 4005. If you notice, I I load 10 AP, 10 he uh, 10 hash on this tank, which is a really nice to load out. Now my equipment is the Enhanced Target Info, Power Train, uh, the Advanced Concealment, and to switch between two shells at the same time, between the two shells, because AP is normally for actually penetrating armor, and the Hesh round is for doing damage, which requires me to, uh, to bring the Advanced Reload on this tank, and it is one of the most important equipment that you can take on this tank. Now, currently I'm firing a fighting a 101, which is a very dangerous target because remember the 101 has low penetration but does 300 damage per shot if it can actually pin. And remember, your turret is very big and it has 14 millimeters of armor. Now, the best, uh, there's a lot of space armor on the 101 and the 107, so the best is to load AP and just do that and just decimate their hit points. Because getting a full pin on a 101 or a 107, because all the hash, I mean all the space armor, hash is not a very good choice to fire at a 101 or a 107. So AP is really nice. So quickly loaded the AP, fired it into the 101, and that's where the advanced reload does really come in handy right there. So now the skills I have on this tank. At the current time, I only had seven skills. I had Born Leader, Steadying, Rapid Loading, Supply Conservation, Camouflage ex Expertise, Solid Driving, Six Sense, and currently, not in this replay, I have Muffle Shot. Because I earned a new skill for this tank. So, yeah, this thing is one of my favorites. It has quickly been one of my favorites. And if you notice, there are a ton of 4,000 buys on the enemy team. And remember, the average damage per this tank for ap your penetration is 310 but you do 1150 your hash has 240 millimeters of penetration with 1450 damage per shot hash rounds will go through the top of this turret every single day and right now it is a 5v9 match also if you end up liking this very consider subscribing because it's free and it helps out the channel a ton also remember so the like button because why was not. So currently it's a 5v9 and there are a lot of 4005s and my goal in this match is to get in a spot, get me safe, and start just using my gun. <laughs> and the very first shot I put out while I'm in the spot, loaded hash, 4005, nearly full health, put a hash into him, lit him on fire full penetration, lit them on fire, so I finished them off. So that brings this down to a 4v8. Remember, this thing has a long reload of 25.6 seconds. Its normal reload is 30 seconds. Aim time is 2.5, accuracy is 0.38, so not the most 
accurate and longest reloads. Has a longer reload and pretty inaccurate. So staying at a far distance and shooting like this and waiting and giving it time and making my shots count is what's going to bring us back in this match. And I just took down another 4,005. Currently it's a 3v5 and I am expecting that T95v3 to know where I'm at. Or close to knowing where I'm at. I st I'm launching the T95v3 on the map. And I'm like, okay, I know the T95v3 is coming this way. Let me kill another 4,005. And by the time the T95v3 gets over here, I should be nearly reloaded with my other shell. I still have smoke, but I knocked out another dangerous Tark in the meantime. So that is a really bad placement of smoke it, because it's covering the rock and most of my smoke's in that rock. So I'm going to load an AP pen. That's 1,150. And now I'm going to use the mobility and the remaining amount of my hit points to outrun this T95v3. Remember, this thing goes like 60-something kilometers, especially when I have the power train. It goes like 62, I think it is. And this thing is pretty fast. And it, mobile. I can still take a shot. Now I just got to make this one shot count. And boom. T95E3 dead. That is the third kill, nine penetration, and nearly 9,000 damage in this match. But we are still not out of the woods yet. It's a 2v3 now. <laughs> and I have a light tank remaining. And they have three tanks. I have 543 hit points. I have a 20-something second reload. So yeah, and they also have a tank destroyer. That's probably a 4,005. Yes, it's a 4,005. That is full health. Now, a lot of people that I know with the 4,005, they're like, why are you putting camo on a 4,005? It has terrible concealment. So why even try to improve it? I do it in the World War II version and the Cold War version. And I'm about to show you why. Now, if you notice, that 4005 is getting spotted pretty easily. If it was me, I would not be getting spotted. Now, I'm going to try to secure this kill on this T95E3 across the map. Boom, he's dead. 4005 is right there. Aiming at our light tank and the medium's right there. They're both over there. Now, I did notice the 4005 coming this way. Now, I'm going to stay off over here in the distance. Keep... See, I'm knowing where the 4005 is because it's spotted. I'm going to come out through this bush. He has no, where I'm, had no idea where I was until I got spotted because my concealment is so good on this tank. I can just stay hidden until I need to not be hidden. Yes, I was behind a rock, but moving into places, moving in location has kept me alive for this long. And keeping me hidden with that concealment has been life and death in this tank so many times. That camo that I have on this tank has worked in my favor so much. And moving in positions and being a sneaky tank destroyer that can pretty much one shot any tank in arrow one is very fun to be. Anyway, that's it for this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Also, remember to fish because why would you not? And peace out. See ya.